We just got back from Trader Joe's and I was not planning on going to Trader Joe's, but we were up in that area looking at countertops and I was like, you know what? We need some things at Trader Joe's. So I spent $120 and here's what I got. I got lots of gluten-free stuff. So we're gonna unload it all. Whoops, take it out and then I'll show you uh, what we got. dairy-free and soy-free I should be free of quite a few other things but I know those three things bother me and so I'm just cutting those out for now for at least 30 days and then with gluten I'll probably add a little bit of sourdough back in because I know sourdough doesn't bother me as much but I just want to be gluten-free right now um, so I did get a few gluten-free substitute like bread things I don't really want to eat a lot of bread and when they substitute um, the gluten in there it's always rice flour which technically I'm not supposed to have rice either but I know rice doesn't bother me as much and so I just wanted to get a few things because I miss bread so much and so I'm not going to eat it all the time it's just going to be something special here and there so I got some of the honey wheat pretzel sticks the kids love these these aren't gluten free so they're just for them and then I also got some blue corn chips we love blue corn chips for lunch and stuff so I got those and then I just got regular whole wheat pasta the curly one as well as the spaghetti um, pasta and these are really great prices on the whole wheat organic stuff so that's why I like to stock up when I go there so then for the gluten-free pasta I got this brown rice and quinoa the curly pasta and then the spaghetti I've never tried this one but I have this one in the past and it's really good we love the roasted unsalted sunflower seeds on our salad so I got two packages of those and then I've never seen these at Trader Joe's before so these are dairy-free and uh, gluten-free and soy-free. This is just the cacao chips, nothing else in there. So, and then this is the dark chocolate. So I'm hoping this will help me curb my sugar and chocolate cravings. So I'm excited to try those. And then I got the blueberry bars and the strawberry bars for the kids. And then these ABC bars are the almond butter cocoa bars. These are so good. There's no dairy or soy in them or gluten. So those are for me. I got some ranch for them. I don't like ranch, but uh, we were almost out, so that's for them. And then some uh, grape juice for our water kefir. We got some pickles. I love pickles, especially on my hamburgers and stuff. And um, we're out of the home canned ones, and I can't can them yet because, you know, obviously the garden's not quite ready. So I just bought some of those because these are really good. And then I got some jasmine, white jasmine rice. This stuff cooks up in like 15 minutes, so it's a really quick and easy meal. We got two of these cinnamon school book cookies. They're the letter crackers. The kids were snacking on them um, on the way home, so I'm not sure what happened to the other container. I know Miles brought it in. Um, I don't know where he put it, but we got two of those. And then we love putting the nutritional yeast with some Italian seasoning, um, some garlic Italian seasoning from Costco on our potato wedges. So I got that because we were almost out of that. And then I got two cans of the garbanzo beans because I like to put these on my salad. This salsa verde is really good on chicken in the crock pot, so this is a staple every time we go. And then this stuff here, their vanilla non-dairy um, ice cream is so good, so I got some of that. And then the kids picked out the lemon raspberry yogurt, and then for my yogurt, I don't think I've ever had this one before, I always got their coconut one. So this is the cashew strawberry, and then this one is the almond blueberry, is it blueberry? No, vanilla, sorry, it's vanilla. So hopefully those are good. So for the frozen stuff, I got some mangoes and pineapple for smoothies, and then I got the um, the bell pepper, the colored bell pepper frozen, because we just love having that on hand until all of our peppers from the garden start producing. And then for seasoning, Trader Joe's has the most amazing seasoning so for a really good price. This is ice cream. So this onion salt is really good on is hamburgers, and we've been yeah. out for a while, so this I was really excited to get more. I love this garlic salt. It's like dried garlic chunks in there with salt, so it makes a really good, um, like I also put this on like chicken and you know, the hamburgers if I don't, if I'm out of that. So that's really good. And then the everything but the bagel seasoning is so good. We love putting this on our sourdough crackers. Um, if you're interested in a sourdough cracker recipe, I'll link it down below for you guys. This one was a new one here. It's a citrusy garlic. I'm always looking for new seasonings to put on our grilled chicken. So I'm really excited to try this one out. 
And then this one is a staple. Um, I think we're about halfway through ours and I just wanted to get another one because I don't go to Trader Joe's that often. So I got three different um, granolas because I haven't been able to make some. So I got some grainless ones. So this one I thought looked pretty good. So I'm going to eat that one. And then we got almond butter and then toasted coconut. These are all dairy free and soy free and gluten free. So I can eat those but that's mostly for them and this one's for me. And then we got the little hamburger buns, the little mini ones that are so cute. So those are for the kids. And then these ones, the honey whole wheat ones are for Simeon. And then I got the gluten-free bagels and the multi-grain brown rice bread and the whole grain bread. So like I said earlier, I'm not going to eat a lot of this. I just want to keep it in the freezer for on hand when I'm just craving some toast or something. So that's everything we got from Trader Joe's. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite Trader Joe's item is. I just love Trader Joe's so much. Most of this stuff is just impulse buy because I'm like, this looks so good. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Sorry the kids are so loud. They were walking around with bags on their head. So don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.